Rob Palinka has officially verified that the Lakers are actively engaging in the competitive center market. Their preference? To secure a candidate endowed with a distinct skill set, one that diverges from the prowess of Jackson Hayes. However, amidst this aspiration, a notable challenge arises, a dearth of viable options within the market capable of manning the center position while also commanding the floor's spatial dimensions. Thus, the team finds itself ensnared by a conundrum. Amidst this conundrum, a glimmer of possibility emerges in the form of a familiar name, former Lakers asset, JaVale McGee. Presently donning the Dallas Maverick colors, McGee's odds of discovering a new abode in the forthcoming season escalate. This prognosis gains traction, especially considering the recent addition to his team's frontcourt ranks, the signature of Derek Jones Jr., etching another chapter in the Mavericks' narrative. Contemplating a Lakers McGee reunion bears its own tale of probability. While such a reunion could transpire, the prospect of McGee facilitating floor spacing for the Lakers remains tenuous. At this juncture, the Lakers might, albeit reluctantly, pivot towards the pursuit of body fillers for their center slot. Yet, the realm of possibilities isn't finite. The Lakers retain the latitude to enrich their roster down the line, introducing an entity capable of expanding the floor when the dynamic buyout market rouses from its slumber. McGee's future in Dallas mirrors a question mark shrouded in ambiguity. Former Mavericks basketball development overseer, Brian Demarest, expounded to ESPN's Tim McMahon, underscoring that McGee's destiny wasn't interwoven with the Mavericks' grand scheme. The trajectory ahead seemed clear-cut, either a trade beckoned or a wave, complemented by the stretch provision. Derek Jones Jr.'s inclusion amplifies the undertones of change. Although catalogued as a forward-slash-center hybrid by Shams in the tweet above, his essence gravitates more towards a blend of small forward and power forward roles, with the versatility to flirt with a small ball center configuration in certain circumstances. While Jones doesn't supplant McGee per se, his incorporation injects a fresh stratum of depth to an already densely populated frontcourt. Surveying the Lakers' roster landscape, names like Maxi Kleber, Rich on Holmes, Dwight Powell, and the promising lottery selection, Derek Lively, adorn the list. With such an assemblage, the argument for McGee's necessity diminishes significantly. Should fiscal prudence guide the Mavericks, treading the terrain of luxury taxation, the prospect of stretching McGee's contract assumes a logical semblance. If this financial maneuver transpires, the door ajar for the Lakers. Albeit devoid of the floor-spacing virtue, they would acquire a seasoned presence, serving as insurance should Hayes' trajectory veer off course. In the grand theater of basketball narratives, uncertainty dances hand-in-hand hand with opportunity. The Lakers' next moves remain obscured, their path intertwined with the intricate dance of variables, where the allure of veteran influence meets the calculus of tactical court presence.